I see the words on this page that speak of beauty and your grace. How you came to set a sinner free. It's your word, it's your decree. The chains of the past can no longer hold me by your blood. Good to see all of you here tonight. I'm so glad you came to Wednesday. Come for Wednesday night Bible study. I, I'm, I'm very excited to get back into teaching. Amen. Praise God. And uh, I forgot to do interpretation Sunday. Forgive me for that. Amen. But we'll, we'll get it right in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, if you did not hear last week's lesson on, no, la de la pasado, on courtship, you really need to listen to that. Que oil, Amen. I felt like the Lord really gave us some good stuff. Well, it, it was for everybody. Eran para todos. Amen. And so uh, there will be a part two and part three to that. Parte dos y parte tres, eh, Amen. So eso. when you get a chance, please listen to that. Amen. So when we do part two, you're ready for that. Amen. Amen. Hopefully we can do part two next week in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll see. Amen. All right. But David, will you hit the first light for me? Don't fall asleep on me. Amen. How many of you have ever seen this before? These are Hebrew letters. Okay. And uh, is it, can anyone tell me what it means? Me puede decir qué eso? Only Tino? Okay, Tino, tell me what it means. Yeah, because I told them. <laughs> All right. This means Yahweh. Eso significa Yahweh. Amen. That is Hebrew. That's Hebrew. Es okay, so you Spanish speakers don't go to left field on me, okay? Ustedes que hablan español no se vayan... Uh, yeah. yeah, don't, 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 no piensas mal, okay? <laughs> so it, this is Yahweh, that's Hebrew. <laughs> Amen, sorry. Get hey, you get in there, okay, good. Okay. I'm just going to leave it like that, all right? Amen. This is what it looks like in English. Y-H-W-H. It looks, mira como en inglés. Yahweh. And so that's what I want to title my lesson tonight. Es lo que es el título de mi lección hoy. Yahweh. Yahweh. And that's how you would say it in English. Así no lo dices en inglés. Spanish. Español. Greek. Grego. Hebrew. Hebreo. Yahweh. Yahweh. That's how you say it. Okay. Amen. Doesn't matter what language you speak. No that's how you say it. Idioma hablas. Así no lo dice. It means God. Significa Dios. Okay. It means God. Significa Now. Dios. Exodus chapter 6, verses 2 and 3. Exodus capítulo 6 y versículo 2. You don't have to stand. I just want you to mark it or write it down in your Bibles. No necesitan que levantarse, pero marquenlo sus Biblias. I, I'm going to break all of this down for you. Le voy a enseñar mucho hoy. How many of you heard the name Yahweh? ¿Cuántos de ustedes han venido el nombre Yahweh? And you didn't know what it meant. Y no sabían qué significaba. You just, you've been in church a long time. You heard Yahweh. You've seen it, seen it written down, maybe you heard it in a song, have you heard it in Christian songs before, amen, and, and they, no one explains what it means, amen, today you're going to learn some things, now, let me warn you, let me give you a warning, amen, not everyone's going to agree with me on this, lo van a aceptar. I, I already know that. Yo ya sé eso. But if you'll, if, if you'll be patient. Pero si tienen paciencia. And, and you learn. Y si aprenden. That, that, this, this, will, this will help you. Te va a ayudar. I, I really feel that. It, it, it's an eye opener to me. All sí, right. Abre los ojos. Kind of a revelation. Es como una revelación. Uh, but when I, when I get to the end, we'll definitely all agree. That's for Pero sure. Cuando llega okay? el fin, vamos todos a aceptarlo. All right. So, remember the original text que el texto was original written in Hebrew. Estaba escrito en el hebreo. Not English. Que no en inglés. 
I don't know if y'all could see that. It's a little faded, but we'll read it. If you got your Bible, Exodus chapter 6, verse number 2. And God spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. Okay? I am the Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob. By the name of God Almighty. Y aparecía Abraham y Isaac y a Jacob como Dios omnipotente. 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 But by my name, now in your Bibles it will probably say Jehovah. En sus Biblias a lo mejor dice Jehovah. I was not known to them. Now, que no lo con no this is where you need ellos. to know that your Bible was originally in Hebrew. Que originalmente tu Biblia estaba en Hebreo. Are you with me? So in Hebrew, it would not say Jehovah. Entonces en Hebreo no dije Jehová. It wouldn't say that. No, va di no dice eso. It would say Yahweh. Va a decir Yahweh. All right? It would say Yahweh. So you need to write that down. You need to know that. Tienen que saber eso. How many of us heard the word El Shaddai? ¿Cuántos de ustedes han oído el nombre El Shaddai? How many have heard the word Elohim? O la palabra Elohim. How many have heard the word Hashem? ¿Cuántos han oído la palabra Hashem? All of these are words or names of God in Hebrew. Todos son palabras o nombres en Hebreo para Dios. Amen? Now, I want to read verse number two again. Me quiero leer verso dos otra vez. And God spake unto Moses... Habló todavía Dios a Moisés. And said unto him. Y le dijo. I am the Lord. Yo soy el Señor. So in Hebrew. Entonces en Hebreo. It would say El Shaddai. Va a decir El Shaddai. I am the Lord. Verse Yo number two. Yo soy el Señor. In Hebrew it would say El Shaddai. En Hebreo di dijera El Shaddai. There's one name. Un nombre. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and Jacob by the name of. Y aparecía Abraham y a Isaac y a Jacob como Dios omnipotente. En el no, en mi nombre. Okay, so in the name of, name of is Hashem. El nombre es Hashem. Name of God. Nombre de Dios. Almighty. So Hashem. Hashem. God Almighty. Dios omnipotente. Okay. You, you'll, see, you'll get it here in a minute. Nombre but by Dios. my name, Pero por mi nombre, Yahweh, Yahweh, I was not known to them. No me di a conocer a ellos. The Jews, the Jewish people, Los judos, have never, nunca, ever, nunca, ever, 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 nunca, 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 still to this day, hasta este día, ever used the word Usan la palabra Jehovah. Jehovah. Now I'm going to show you something today. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to offend you now. No los quiero ofender. Uh, but the Jewish people have never used the word Jehovah. Pero los judíos nunca han usado la palabra Jehovah. They use the word Yahweh. Usan la palabra Yahweh. Okay, let's 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 go to the next slide. There we go. All right. There it is again. Yahweh. Ahí está otra vez, Yahweh. It's called, this, this, this letters, the, the form of it. Las palabras, el formo de esas palabras. It's called in Greek. En griego se llama. The Tetragrammaton. Now you may not run and shout about this, but th this is going to blow your mind. All right. So you just be patient Eso with me. Eso te sorprender. It's called the Tetragrammaton. Tetragrammaton. That's Greek. Eso está, es en griego. Okay. And then. The, the four letters right here. Las cuatro letras ahí. Y-H-W-H. You see that right there? Look at that. You see where I'm circling? The, see my little red dot? Yahweh. Yahweh. That's in Latin script. Es en latino. Okay. It's the four letter. La cuatro letras. Biblical name of God. Nombre bíblico de Dios. Amen. This is what's called the tetragrammaton. Es lo que se llama el tetragrammaton. There's no vowels. No hay vocales. 
in, in this word. There's no vowels. Que no hay vocales. So in the Hebrew language, Entonces, la idioma de Hebreo, there's no letter J. No hay una letra J. There's no letter J. Que no, no hay una letra J. Are you with me? Me entienden. So everything we say with the letter J, todo lo que dijimos con una letra J, they use the letter Y. Usaron la letra Y. And Hebrew is read from right to left. Y el hebreo está leído a la derecha a la izquierda. So it's Yahweh reading that way. A la derecha a la izquierda. Have you ever heard the term Adonai? Ha oído la palabra Adonai. That also means God. That is Hebrew word. Eso también significa Dios. Es una palabra de hebreo. It's written right here on my prayer shawl. Está escribido ahí. Baruch atah Adonai Elohim Elohenu b'mitzvatav and yeah. I forgot the rest. But Adonai means God. Pero Adonai Hebrew letters. Dios. Okay? La idioma de Hebreo. So here we go. Now I'm going to break it down for you. Look at the names. Here, these are the Hebrew words right here. Hebrew words. English. Mira, son las palabras de Hebreo, inglés. And then what it means. Lo que significa. Okay? Yahweh. Yahweh. Means the Lord. Significa el Señor. It means the Lord. How many, how many times do we say it in praying? Veces lo vimos en oración? How many times do you see it in your Bible? I, I'm, getting, en tu Biblia. I'm getting a ring, my brother. Okay. Amen. Yahweh means the Lord. Yahweh significa el Señor. Elohim means God. Elohim significa Dios. Adonai means the Lord. Adonai significa el Señor. El Shaddai. El Shaddai. Is God Almighty. Es Dios omnipotente. That's right. And El Elion is el, God Most High. El Elion is Dios más alto. Now, remember, Elohim means God, right? And everything in your Bible que todo en tu Biblia, that has the word El, E-L, in it. Que dice la palabra, e -L, e -L. Remember, Hebrew is broken down in a bunch of small words. Small words. El, el idioma hebreo está and you put it with other small cortas, words. Lo ponen con otras palabras cortas, and it makes one word. Y hace una palabra, in English. In English. Okay? If it has E-L in it. Si tiene e -L -N, then that means God. Entonces significa Dios. El. El. Ohim. Ohim. That means Almighty God. Dice, the Creator. Dios. El Creador. Everybody who named their children Todos que llaman sus niños wanted to name it after God. Lo querían llamar por Dios. Where is God's holy people at? ¿Dónde está la gente de Dios? Where, where, where is the most holy place on the planet? ¿Dónde está el más lugar más santo? Jerusalem, which is in the country of Israel. 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 That means prince of God. Significa el príncipe de Dios. Israel. Israel. God. Dios. Give me the names of two angels in the Bible. Dame dos nombres de dos ángeles. Who? Gabriel. Gabriel. Who's the other one? ¿Quién es el otro? Michael. Michael. God of war. God of angel. God of messenger. Dios de ángel. You see how I'm breaking it down? Como lo estoy Name me a prophet that has the letter E in it. Elisha. Que tiene L en el. El. Aisha. Aisha. Do you see that? In Spanish, Elias. El. El. You see that? Yeah. Why, where does that come from? ¿De dónde viene eso? Elohim. Elohim. Which means Yahweh. Que significa Yahweh. Which means God. Que significa Dios. Amen. Do, do, do you see the pattern? Mira lo, lo que está pasando. If you serve false gods, si sirven dioses falsos, let me give you an example. Como un ejemplo. Baal. Baal. Then you named your children after Baal. Entonces llamaste a tus niños para él. How many has heard of Jezebel? ¿Cuántos han oído a Jezebel? You see that? It's a woman who worships the god Baal. Que es una mujer que adora al Dios Baal. Amen. 
So you see, everything in our Bibles was made to worship God que hasta para and para the Señor. names of his people y el de su gente. after his name. Por su nombre. Not any other name. No otro nombre. Amen? Are you with me? me Amen. Israel. Israel. And so Yahweh, Entonces, Yahweh is a holy name. Es un nombre santo. It's very holy. Es muy santo. So much es mucho. that the Jews don't use this name all the time. Que los judos no usan ese nombre todo el tiempo. They're not allowed to. Que no, they're, they're, no it's, pueden. It, it's, it's uh, I don't know how you say How you say forbidden? Prohibido. Yeah, that's serious. It's forbidden Está to use the word Yahweh. Para usar la palabra Why? Yahweh. ¿Por qué? Because we're not as holy as he is. Porque nosotros no somos santos como él. He is holy. Él es santo. And for me to use that term in those in that time. Para yo usar ese nombre en ese tiempo. It, it, it would be disrespect. Es como faltarle el respeto. Amen. And so the Jews would use Adonai. Entonces los judíos usan Adonai. Elohim. Elohim. Hashem. Hashem. El Shaddai. El Shaddai. Are you, are you with me? They would use these terms because Yahweh was too holy. Usaban esas palabras porque Yahweh estaba bien santo. Okay? You got this. I'm going somewhere. Entienden. Amen. We're going to learn something. Let's go to the next one. Here's some more names of God. Mira, más nombres de I Dios. think you can see this a little bit better. ¿Quién lo puede ver más? How many of you call him Father? ¿Cuántos le llaman Padre? Amen, and we should. Y Amen, the word Father is Abba. El nombre Padre es Abba. Amen. Elohim, God the Creator. Elohim, Dios el Creador. Amen. Elah, the awesome God. Elah, el Dios. Notice, awesome. El, ah. El, ah. That, that, that wouldn't be ah, it would be ah. <laughs> ah. Yeah, you got to have the, the hard gut. Ah. That's Hebrew, okay? Eso es ah. Elah. Elah. Hashem means the name. Hashem significa el nombre. Still to this day, Hasta ese día hoy, the Jewish people los judos, call him Hashem. Lo llaman a Hashem. Adonai. Adonai. Elohim. Elohim. Yahweh. Yahweh. They never use the word Jehovah. Nunca usa la palabra Jehovah. I wonder why. ¿Por qué? I wonder why. Have you ever heard where he said, I am? ¿Has oído que que yo soy? That I am. El yo soy. Amen. We've heard that a bunch of times. Yahweh, Yahweh means I am who I am. Que yo soy quien soy. I am who I am. Yo soy quien soy. So when Moses asked God, Entonces, who shall Dios, I tell them? Quien le, le digo, sent me. Que me mandó. He didn't tell him in English. No dijo en inglés. He didn't tell him in Spanish. No dijo en, en español. He told him in Hebrew. Pero dijo en hebreo. I am que yo soy Yahweh. Yahweh. Oh my God. This is good stuff right here. Amen. The sovereign God. El. El. El Dios poderoso. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You got this? Lo entienden? I, I'm getting excited. So these are primary names of God. Esos son los nombres de Dios. All right, here we go. Now we're going to get to some incorrect. I look at it. I even put it in Spanish. Incorrecto. Incorrecto. Usos incorrecto. All right. Now, let's look at it. Jehovah. It, in Spanish, would say Jehová, right? Is a, now, this is where you're going to have to help me, Spanish speakers. It's a modern mispronunciation of the Hebrew name. And so tell me if I got that right in Spanish. I got it right? Es una mala pronunciación moderna del nombre hebreo. hebreo. No es correcto. No está correcto. It's not correct. I'm really working tonight. I got both languages up there. You know? Amen. So, listen. In English. Mira, en inglés. In your Bibles. En tu Biblia. Jehovah. Jehovah. Is only there seven times. Siempre solamente está ahí siete veces. And it's only in the First Testament. Y solamente está en el, el Testamento Antiguo. You won't find it in the New Testament. No lo vas a encontrar en el Nuevo Testamento. Not in the English Bible. No en la, en la de inglés. But in Spanish. Pero en español. Oh my Lord. Come on. Are you with me? Seven times. Siete veces. In English. En inglés. 
Only in the Old Testament. Solamente en el Antiguo Testamento. But in Spanish. Pero en español. It's in there a whole lot. Sale mucho. This is not a good pronunciation. Eso no es una pronunciación. Remember Yahweh doesn't have vowels. Recuerda que Yahweh no tiene vocales. Are you with me? It didn't have vowels in it. It was Y H W H. Those are all consonants. All right. There's a certain way to say it. You don't like anyone messing up your name, do you? If somebody read your name, would it be okay if they said Joey? Like, man, my name is Joe. Let me call me no Joey. Right? Same thing with God. Lo mismo con Dios. If you ever go to Israel, si vas a Israel and you ask them, hey, y le preguntan, hey do you believe in Jehovah Jireh? ¿Usted cree en Jehovah? They're going to look at you and say, I don't know what you're talking about. Because it ain't Jehovah Jireh. Porque no es de Jehovah. It's Yahweh. Es Yahweh. Yire. Yire. Yahweh, Yireh. Yahweh, Yireh. God is my provider. Que Dios es mi provider. All right, let's keep going. You got this. I can see it. All right. Original meaning. There we go. This is original meaning now of Jehovah. Sí, we got the original de Jehovah. Remember, in Hebrew, you have to break little words down. Mira, en Hebreo tienes que... You take one little word and another little word and you put them together and it means something in, in, in all your Bible. Amen? All your Bible is the same. It's just a translation. And so in English, the word ja would be ya which is God Yes, Dios. Amen. But the Hova part que la parte de Jehovah, in Strong's Concordance and la Concordancia. Con there you go. Number 1943. That's not hashtag for you young folks, okay? That that means number right there. This is what the definition is. Eso es lo que de definición es. Ruin, ruina, or mischief, or travesura in Hebrew. En hebreo. That's what the word hova means. Es lo que significa la palabra hova. So when you put it together. Entonces cuando lo ponen juntos. Look, ruin. Mira, ruina. And mischief. Y travesura. When you put those together. Cuando lo ponen junto. Then you're saying he's the God of ruin. Entonces están diciendo que es el Dios de ruina. And the God of mischief. Y el Dios de travesura. I'm sorry, my God is not that. Mira, mi Dios no es eso. My God's the God of life. Mi Dios es la, the God Dios of vida. light. Dios la my luz. God's the God of peace. Dios de paz. My God's the God of love. Dios del amor. Amen. My God's the God of eternity. Dios de la the God of strength. Dios de la the God of power. Dios de poder. Amen. He's the omnipotent God. Es el omnipotente. Amen. But he's not the God of ruin. Pero no es el Dios de ruina. And he's not the God of mischief. Dios de, Dios de travesura. Somebody has tricked me. Alguien me hizo una trampa. Someone has lied to me. Alguien me echó mentiras. Now this is original translation. I'm giving you translations now. Mira, eso es translación originalmente. That's not my God. Ese no es mi Dios. Have you ever heard this before? ¿Has oído eso antes? Now let's, let, let's, let's keep going. Let, let me give you some history. Hay que seguir. Quiero darme un poco de historia. In 1278, there was a Spanish monk or a priest. Que había un sacerdote. Amen. His name was Raimundo Martini. Que se llama Raimundo Martini. He was probably drinking martinis. Huh? He was the first one. Era el primer. To change the spelling. Que cambió. Or the pronunciation. La pronunciación. Of Yahweh. De Yahweh. To Yehoah. Uh, See, because, let, let, now you may not know this, but the first Old English letters, La primera palabras, 
The first letters of Old English. De las palabras de inglés. How many remember Old English? Yeah. I'm talking about Old English. Old English didn't have the letter V. Que en inglés no tenía la palabra, um, la And it didn't B. have the letter J. No tenía la letra J. This is truth. Eso es la verdad. That came over time. Eso vino después del por tiempo. So this Spanish monk or priest, Entonces, he español, changed the spelling and the pronunciation of the word. Cambió la palabra. Which later on they used the spelling Jehovah. Que después usaron la palabra Jehovah. This is real history now. Eso es historia de verdad. Not making this up. No más lo estoy diciendo. William Tyndale. William Tyndale. Tyndale. He printed a Bible in 1530. An English Bible. And he used the word for the first time. Jehovah. 1530. In 1602. The Spanish version of the Bible was printed. The Reina Valera. Reina Valeria. Valeria. And it had the word Jehovah in it. Y tuvo la palabra Jehovah. 6,842 times. 842 veces. Why would it have it more in Spanish than English? Porque lo va a tener más en español que en inglés. Because a Spanish priest Porque un first changed the name. Primero cambió la, el nombre. And Catholicism y el Catholico. was the first ones to reach the Spanish countries. Que eran los primeros para you better listen al, to me. Al país de And change the word God y la palabra Lord Dios, Señor, to Jehovah. A Jehovah. And even put it in the New Testament. 6,842 6, times. Somebody's tricked me. Alguien me hecho trampa. Whoa. Wow. And then in 1611, then the King James Bible was printed and they only used it seven times. Why is that? Because King James refused the influence of Catholicism. He refused that influence. No quería esa influenza. Amen. And so to give in to a little bit of Catholicism, a little bit of this one, a little bit of that one, he put eso, it in otra. there seven times. Solamente lo puso siete veces. Wow. He should have kept following the Lord is what he should have done. Amen. Look at that. 6,842 times. Mil veces, 852 veces. That's a lot. Es mucho. All because it started up there. The Spanish okay. monk, the priest. Listen, even the Jehovah Witnesses know this. Los testigos de Jehová. Entonces, los testigos de Jehová también saben eso. That's right. They know this. It's in their history books. Que están en, en, en el, los libros de historia. That's right. They know this. Que lo saben. And they're okay with it. Están bien con eso. Because they still believe. Porque ellos apenas creen. That the name of God. Que el nombre de Dios. Is Jehovah. Es Jehovah. They believe that. Ellos creen en they eso. They don't even know what it means. Ellos ni saben qué significa eso. They don't even know what it means. Que ni saben. As long as it is not Jesus. Por then they're no okay with it. Jesús. Ellos están bien con eso. <laughs> They're, they're, they're all messed up. And yeah, this is recording. I said it. Somebody say the sacred name. Amen. Let's turn to Psalm 68 and 4. Psalm 68 and 4. Amen. Somebody read it. Alguien léalo. Psalm 68 and 4. You got it, Juju? Sing unto God. Come on. Sing praises to his name. Canta a Dios. Canta salmos a su nombre. Extol him. Extol. By his name. Cabalado sobre los cielos. What? Ja. 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 
Remember, J wasn't in there, so what would it say? Que J no estaba dentro, entonces, ¿qué dijera? It would say, ya. Dijera, ya. That doesn't mean stop. <laughs> Talking about God here, remember. Estamos hablando de Dios aquí. God is, I am that I am. Yo, yo soy Yahweh, el que soy. right? Yahweh. And it says, sing unto the name who? Entonces, canta el nombre de quién? To the name, Yah. El nombre, Yah. Amen. Listen, the name Yahweh. El nombre, Yahweh. I want you to write this down. You Quiero need to write escriba. this down. The name Yahweh, el nombre, Yahweh was the sacred name Era of that time. Sacrado de ese tiempo. Sacred name. El nombre sacrado. It was most holy. Era el más santo. No one could say this name. Nadie podía decir no ese one nombre. had permission to Nadie say this name. Permisión. You could use Elohim. Pueden usar you Elohim. could use Adonai. Pueden usar Adonai. You could use Hashem. Pueden usar you, Hashem. you could use El Shaddai. Pueden usar El Shaddai. But you could not use Yahweh. Pero no pueden usar Yahweh. It was considered sacred. Era bien sacrado. It was very holy. Era bien santo. Are you with me? ¿Me entienden? Uh, th that was a name set for God. Eso era un nombre para Dios. And out of respect, para respecto, they wouldn't say the name. No lo dijeron. Still to this day, they don't do so. Hasta ese día no lo dicen. Even when they write Hasta in the Torah, escriben, the Jews, los judos, they will not write Yahweh. Que no van a Yahweh. They'll write Hashem, que dicen Hashem. Or even in English, when they write God, o en inglés, they'll dicen write Dios, G que dicen with no O in D. D. They leave the vowel out. Why? Out of respect for his name. Are you with me? Okay. And so in Strong's Concordance, number 3050, it even defines it in the Strong's Concordance as the sacred name. También lo dice en el Concordancio, él dice su nombre sacrado. It's the most powerful. El más poderoso. You got that written down? Because this is going to blow your mind. You're going to learn something. Van a aprender algo ahorita. The most sacred name. You got it. El nombre más sacrado. Yahweh. Yahweh. Was sacred. Que está bien sacrado. It was holy. Que era santo. Okay. It was powerful. Que era poderoso. All right. Here we go. Let's go to the next slide. Somebody say blasphemy. How do you say blasphemy in Spanish? Blasfemio. Blasfemio. All right. In the Old Testament, Leviticus, blasphemia. blasphemia. All right. Leviticus 24, 16. Que en capítulo 24 y versículo 16. Deuteronomy 5 and 11. Deuteronomy. Just Cinco write it down. Just write it down. We're going to look up Leviticus 24, 16. When you got it, tengan. read it. Lenlo. Okay, hold on, just one. Go ahead, read it, Tino. Go ahead, Tino. He who blasphemes the name of the Lord. What does it say? He shall die. Ha de ser muerto. Whoever blasphemes. Quien sea que blasfemare. There's a consequence. Hay una consecuencia. If you blaspheme. Then the scripture says, dice, you shall die. Que vas a morir. Right? Do the Jews believe that? Que los judos creen en eso. Do they follow that? Siguen eso. Yes, they do. Eso sí lo siguen. They believe it with all their heart, right? Que lo creen con todo su corazón. So whoever blasphemes Entonces, shall die. Okay, that's good enough. Stop right there. All right, now, according to the Mishnah, Lego para la Mishnah. The Sanhedrin. El Sanhedrin. In the chapter number 7. Y capítulo 7. Mishnah 6. Mishnah 6. And, and this is Jewish books. Y son libros de Hebreo. It means that in order for someone to blaspheme. Entonces para alguien para blasfemerar. The only way this could happen. La única manera que eso puede pasar. Is if they use the sacred name. Es que usan el nombre sacrado. If you use the sacred name. Si usted usa el nombre sacrado. You have blasphemed. Or if you put yourself equal to God, you have blasphemed. Amen? If you use his sacred name, or if you put yourself equal to God, then you have blasphemed. And your consequence 
So tu consecuencia is, di is to die. Es para morir. All right, now let's turn to Mark. Saint Mark. A Marcos. Chapter number two. Versículo do, uh, ben, capítulo dos. Verse number six. Versículo seis. Let's let someone else read. Mark chapter two, verse number six. Marcos dos y seis. Okay. Estaban ahí sentados algunos de los escribas. Uh -huh. Yes. Los cuales calibaban en sus corazones. Who are they talking about? ¿De quién están hablando en, en eso? Jesus. Están hablando de Jesús. These Jewish people. Esos gente de judos. They said that Jesus. Ellos dijeron que Jesús. Committed blasphemy. Que cometió blasfemia. Blasfemar. Blasfemia. All right. You got that? Keep reading, Brother David. Six and seven. ¿Quién puede perdonar pecados si no solo Dios? Nobody can forgive sins. Que nadie puede perdonar pecados. Only God. Solamente Dios. And when Jesus said, I forgive you. Y cuando Jesús dijo que yo te perdono. Of your sins. De tu pecado. He was putting himself. Que se está poniendo. Equal to God. Lo mismo como Dios. He was committing according to the Jews. Que por los judos. He was committing blasphemy. Está haciendo blasfemia. You see that? Lo miran. Matthew 26, Mateo capítulo 26, verse 65, y versículo, come on, Sister Rosie, the high priest, he tore his shirt like this, he, he tore it like that, why? Are you there, Brother Cisco? Yes. Entonces el sumo sacerdote rasgó sus vestiduras. What did he say? Hold Diciendo, on. Keep going, Sister Rosie. Ha blasfemado. ¿Qué más necesitamos tenemos de testigos? He aquí ahora mismo habéis oído su blasfemia. Even the high priest said Jesus committed Jesús, blasphemy. Que dijo ha hecho blasfemia. blasfemia. What was the consequence for blasphemy? ¿Qué es la consecuencia para blasfemia? To die. Para morir. Did Jesus die? ¿Qué no que Jesús murió? Are you learning? John chapter 10 verse 33. Juan capítulo 10 y versículo 33. The Jews answered him. Los judíos lo respondió. Diciendo, por una buena obra, no te apendreamos. So they didn't want to throw rocks at him for doing the good things. Que no lo querían pintar piedras por siendo cosas buenas. They didn't care about the miracles. No le importaban los milagros. They didn't care about the healings. No le importaban cuando estaba sanando a la gente. What they did care about. Lo que sí le importaban. Was him using the sacred name que él está usando el nombre sacrado, and putting himself equal to God? Y lo mismo como Dios. For that, y por eso, they picked up rocks que levantaron las piedras, and they wanted to stone him. Lo querían matar. You hear that? Si no por la, la blasfemia, porque tú siendo hombre te haces Dios. Because he told everyone Porque él dijo a to, le dijo a todos, that I am God. Que yo soy Dios. <laughs> Amen. John chapter 8. Juan capítulo 8. Verse 58. Y versículo 58. John 8. Juan 8. Verse 58. Y versículo Who's got it? 58. You got it, Brother Mark? Read it, Brother Mark. Jesus said. Jesús dijo. Uh-huh. Before Abraham. De cierto, de cierto, les digo, antes de Abraham, fu fuese yo soy. Before Abraham. Antes de Abraham. What did he say? ¿Qué dijo? I am. Yo Remember soy. what I am means in Hebrew? Es lo que significa yo soy en hebreo. Yahweh. Yahweh. Jesus, Jesus right Yahweh. here. Jesús aquí, 
declared the sacred name que dijo el nombre sacrado over himself sobre él mismo and he said before Abraham was Pero antes que Abraham era I am Yahweh que yo soy Yahweh he took the sacred name upon himself que el nombre sacrado sobre él mismo he didn't say Jehovah él no dijo Jehová he said Yahweh dijo Yahweh And he had to declare the sacred name in order to commit blasphemy. But it wasn't blasphemy for Jesus. Because he is the Yahweh. He is the I Am. Amen. And therefore was willing to pay the penalty of death. Do you see that? He declared himself as Yahweh. Él dijo que él es Yahweh. Let's keep going. So they took up stones to throw at him. They took up the rocks to throw at him. Thank you, Brother Mark. Why? Because he said, I'm Yahweh. I'm, I'm the sacred name. I'm the one you've been waiting for. Yo soy el que están esperando. Notice, I want you to notice something. You won't find where Jesus said, I'm the Messiah. Or the Mashiach. They asked him, are you the Messiah? He never answered that. He never answered that. He said, you say. You say. But when it came to being God, He declared it over and over again. He said, before Abraham was, I am. He said, me and my father are one. We're not two. We're not three. We're one. I am Yahweh. Woo. Praise God. So the only true name. Because remember, in Zechariah 14 and 9, somebody turned there. 14, verse number 9. Remember, he had a lot of names in the beginning. Elohim. Elohim. Adonai. Adonai. Hashem. Hashem. El Shaddai. El Shaddai. Yahweh. Yahweh. Right? You see? You got it, Brother David? Read, read, read it, Brother Tino. 14 and 9. The Lord shall be king over all the earth. Uh huh. In that day, in that day, shall there be one Lord. Shall there be one Lord? And his name. And his name. Y uno, su nombre, his name shall be one. Su nombre será uno. One. What did that name change to? ¿Qué cambió ese nombre? See, at first it was Yahweh, the I am, que era the Yahweh, great I am. Soy, el gran yo soy. But then it became, Yah from Yahweh went to Yeshua. Entonces, from Yahweh se hizo a Yeshua. My God, Mi Dios, the Savior, el Salvador. the Savior of the world. El Salvador God del mundo. is my Savior. Dios es mi Salvador. Jesus, we can all agree on. Jesus, Jesus is absolutely right. Jesus At the name of Jesus, every knee shall Jesus. bow and every tongue shall confess. Amen. Dale Praise the name of Jesus. I'm going to show you something. In your Bibles, en su Bilias, turn to the book of Revelation. Al libro de Apocalipsis. I believe it's Revelation 22. Capítulo 2 en Apocalipsis. 22. Let me find it. This wasn't in my notes. I believe it's Revelation 22. Apocalypse, capítulo 22. Where it says, Alleluia. 19. There it is. Thank you, Brother Daniel. That's what I'm talking 19, about. 19, verse 4. All right, let's read it. Read verse 3. 19, verse 3. Notice it says, Alleluia. He's in Alleluia. Are you there in your Bibles? 
Revelation 19. Apocalypse 19. Verse number 1. Verse 1. Verse number 3. Verse number 4. Verse 4. And I believe it's verse number 6. Look at the word Alleluia in your Bibles. Notice it doesn't say Hallelujah with an H. Hallelujah. It don't say You don't see it, right? Now let me ask you another question. Does it say Hallelujah with a J? No. Because it was never meant to say Ja with a J or Ha with an H. It says, Allelu, Allelu, all praise to Yah, yeah. which is Yahweh. But Yahweh. when the name changed to the Savior of the world, Alleluia or Allelu, yeah, all praise to Jesus. All praise to Yeshua. Amen. You will not find in your Bible anywhere where it says hallelujah. No you won't find it. Like say, hallelujah. Ja. But you'll find where it says hallelujah. Si hallelujah. Alleluia. Sin Amen. H is sin J. Do you see that? Verse number one. Y verso uno. After these things I heard a great voice of much people in heaven Después saying Alleluia. Alleluia. Salvation. Salvation. All praise to God for salvation. Toda adoración para and Dios. glory. Y gloria. And honor. Y on, honra. And power. Y poder. Unto the Lord God. Del Señor. Who is that? Jesus Christ. Es Jesús. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Al Señor. Do you see that? Hit the lights, Brother David. Listen, listen. I know a lot of people may not agree with this. Yeah, muchos no aceptan esto. But I have translated it. Pero ha translucido. Translucido. Yes. According to the original language, everything matches. Amen. El texto original, todo va junto. Everything is in harmony. Everything is together. Y todo va junto. Amen. And you see how it, it, it goes hand in hand. Y mira cómo va mano y mano. If it wasn't the sacred name, si no era nombre sacrado, then how did Jesus commit blasphemy? Entonces, ¿cómo Jesús hizo blasfemia? See, no one ever looks at that. Mira, nadie mira eso. But there's a penalty for blasphemy. Pero hay una consecuencia para blasfemia. In those days, there was another penalty that people would do. En ese día también hay otra consecuencia In, que including gente hizo. Uh, parents or mentors or leaders. Padres o los líderes. If you said something blasphemous, si dijeron una como algo cosa de blasfemia, then they would smite you across the face. Entonces te dan una cachetada sobre la cara. Amen. And they would say that's for blasphemy. Y lo dicen eso por blasfemia. What was the other thing they did to Jesus? Y la otra cosa que <coughs> hicieron a Jesús. Once he said I shall be coming in the clouds and you'll see me. They were upset because he put himself equal with God. So the Bible says that they smote him. Said, so now prophesy who hit you. He paid the penalty for blasphemy when he was the one true Yahweh. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And did he die on the cross? Y murió en la cruz. Yes, he did. There is no trinity. Que no hay una trinidad. Amen. Amen. My God is the God of power. Que mi Dios es Dios del poder. He's the God of light. Que es Dios de la luz. He's the God of strength. Dios de la fuerza. He's my God of salvation. Mi Dios de salvación. He is my provider. Es mi proveedor. He is my shelter. Es mi fortaleza. He is my refuge. Es donde coro. He is, es, él es mi refugio. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Think Amen. about that. Come on. He is all these things. He is el the el Lamb of God that taketh away Dios. the sin of the world. Del mundo. And today, y hoy, he's got one name. Tiene un nombre. And his name is Jesus. Es Jesús. And the Bible says, y la dice, at that day, a ese día, every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ 
is the Lord. What is the word Lord in Hebrew? It's God. It's Elohim. It's Adonai. It's Yahweh. It's El Shaddai. It's Hashem. It's all the same. Jesus is the name of God. Can we stand together? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Señor. Amen. This is why we don't use the word Jehovah in our songs. Because it's not right. No es correcto. It's not correct. Amen. We use the term Lord. Usamos la palabra Señor. God. Dios. Jesus. Jesús. Those are all correct. Estos son correctos. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's pray. Can we pray together? Amen. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for teaching us. We thank you, Lord, for showing us, Lord, the hidden truths of the word of God. Lord, that we may take it and apply it to our life. Thank you for showing us that you are the one true God, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, saith the Lord, the Almighty God. You are the one true everything, O oh Lord Jesus. You are my rock, my strong tower, my El Shaddai, my lily in the valley, my bright and morning star. My God, you are my, my rose, O oh Lord Jesus. Jesus, you are, you are my everything, my great shepherd, my shield, and, and my great exceeding reward. You are my all in all, O oh God. You are my God, my Savior, O oh Lord. Lord, I thank you for showing us. I thank you for teaching us. I thank you for the hearts that we're receiving this, O oh Lord. God, that we may take and apply it to our life. That way, when we're baptized, we know the name we must be baptized in. It's in the name of Jesus Christ that taketh away the sins of the world. Thank you, Lord, for washing away my sins. Thank you, Lord for changing my life. Lord, and we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you today. Greet one another. Tell somebody glad to see them in church.